In this video, we're going to talk about definite integrals as a net area. In the Riemann sum section, we would use small rectangles to find the approximate area. Well, we're going to be moving for the next couple sections into trying to find it exactly by evaluating this integral. This is called a definite integral. It's got um, numbers on the ends. And what these numbers on the ends correspond to is that this finds the area between f of x and the x-axis from a to b. Now, as we also saw when we were doing Riemann sums, if the area is above the x-axis, it's positive. If it's below, it's negative. What this does is this actually finds the net area. So for example, if we wanted to find the integral from 0 to pi of sine x dx, and we were just curious whether this was positive, negative, or 0, um, if I graph this, this is saying that I would take the sine function from 0 to pi, so the sine function goes like this, but from 0 to pi, I only care about it to there. So that area is all above the x-axis. So we'd expect that our answer would be positive, and in fact, that area is all positive. If, however, I changed it to 0 to 3 pi halves, what we would have is we'd have this positive area here, but we'd also have this negative area here. So what this would actually do is this would take the positive area plus this negative area and then give us our net answer. So in this in instance, because the positive area is larger, our answer would be positive, but it's not representing just this. It actually would be representing, if you think about it, half would cancel, so our answer would actually just be that, which is the net. All right, now what happens if we were looking at all negative? Well, um, let's see, I could go from 0 to 1 of negative x squared. That would give me negative area because on this instance, I have a parabola opening down, and from 0 to 1, that would be the negative area that I would be finding. All right, so it's super important as we're first learning about definite integrals that you visualize what area is being trapped and whether you think that area is gonna be positive, negative, have a net positive, have a net negative, or if it's actually zero. And you're probably thinking, well, Jen, you didn't show an example of zero. All right, how about that? from 0 to 2 pi, right? Because if we went from 0 to 2 pi, we are going to get a net of 0. Okay, so best case scenario is while you're learning about definite integrals as area, graph it first. Graph and shade. All right, good luck.